This video is going to talk about terms you need to remember in functions. That's it. A function is a relationship between an x and a y, where every x should have a corresponding y value. We normally use a line drawn through your function to test if your graph is actually a function. And the terms that are important for you to know in function are thus. Now the first terms you need to know is your domain and your range. A domain represents the, all the possible sets of x value, while range represents all the possible sets of y values for your particular function. Domain and range can be found for all four functions. Now in this example, we're going to talk about what the domain and the range for those examples are. For this parabola graph, we see that our domain is from negative infinity to positive infinity, which can be represented as x is an element of r. We get this because we have all possible values for your domain. The range for this parabola starts from negative infinity up to 5. So we could say that the range is y is less than 5. And this is how you can use domain and range in questions. Of symmetry, some people call it the line of symmetry, is the line that divides your parabola or your hyperbola into two equal parts. Now, remember, I only said parabolas and hyperbolas. Unfortunately, for functions, you only have two of them. A straight line doesn't have a line of symmetry, neither does an exponential graph. The yellow lines represent your line of symmetry. We have two lines of symmetry for a hyperbola and one line of symmetry for a parabola. Equations of how to calculate your line of symmetry for both graphs will be talked about when we go through each of the sections. Maximum and minimum points. Maximum and minimum points, just like the name signifies, is the highest possible or the lowest possible value that your graph can attain. So it's usually a y coordinate and it only occurs for parabola. You don't have a maximum or minimum value for any other function apart from your parabolas. An asymptote is an imaginary line in which your graph comes very close to but doesn't touch. You normally find an asymptote in an exponential graph or a hyperbola graph. Those are the only two sets of graph in which you can definitely get an asymptote. These are examples of asymptotes. Intercepts. There are two types of intercepts. We have the x-intercept and the y-intercept. The x-intercept literally means the point in which your graph cuts the x-axis, and at that point, y is usually equal to zero. While the y-intercept is the point in which your graph cuts the y-axis, and at that point, x is equal to zero. These are some of the most important terminologies used in functions. It's very important for you to know them. The next set of videos will be talking about linear, parabolas, exponential, and hyperbolas. And we are definitely going to use this term. So I had to do this video to explain a little bit. So in case you hear me using those words, you know exactly what I mean. Thank you.